What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today is a very exciting day because our 60p has finished its dark start. It's been about three weeks and yeah, today we're ready to do the planting. Um, to kick us off, I've got a little package that I received today from the guys at Aqua Plant Culture, Aqua Depot. For those of you who don't know, um, I am doing a collaboration with the guys at Aqua Plant Culture. So they've been kind enough to send us some plants for our ADA 60P. Um, so why don't we do a quick unboxing and see what goodies they've sent us. And then um, I'll show you what the tank looks like now and we'll get planted. Let's do it. All right, so let's see what we have here. Some the newest Nana Petite. Wow, super super nice and healthy. So we got one, two, three, four, five pumps there. That. Oh, this is. Java fern. Yep, that's a nice. I think this may be Philippine Java fern. Okay, this is super nice. Um, I think they immerse grown crypt flamingo. So let's have a quick look at what we have here. Uh, we've got Java Fern over here, which uh, probably go in between the woods. Some Glossostigma, Stigma. Uh, this would be the main carpet. And a huge bunch of Elicarus vivipara. It's probably going to background somewhere. And some beautiful pieces of um, Anubius Nana Petite. And then some pretty rare crypt flamingo. It's like a pinkish crypt. Right now it looks a bit dark because I'm pretty sure it's been grown immersed. So here we have the driftwood three weeks after the dark start. Um, there's some white fluff. Um, it's got biofilm growing on the wood. Totally normal. Um, especially in a new setup. So I'm just going through with the toothbrush just to clean it out. And we're going to do a quick water change after this. So now I'm just going through and draining as much water as I can. Um, this is mainly just to remove maybe some of the ammonia that's left um, after the dark start. And while I'm draining, there'll be some water that's left over, which will help us in the planting phase as well.
Planting for me is really one of the most relaxing parts in setting up an aquascape. Um, there's just something really satisfactory and really enjoyable of just placing the plants into the soil with the tweezers and just doing it over and over again is really therapeutic for me. Um, it really helps if you pre-prep all the plants in advance, so you split them up into smaller portions and that way you're really uh, just picking them up and just planting them one after the other. So this is a peninsula scape and it is viewable from three sides. So I'm just going around and planting the remaining portions of the Glossostigma on the other side. Uh, so next is the Cryptocarine Flamingo and I've chosen to plant it over around this area between Dragonstone and the Glossostigma to act like a transition between the two. Otherwise, you know, you've got Glosso that's running straight into uh, the Dragonstone, which can be quite um, unnatural. Next is one of my favorite plants, Hygrophila pinatifida. This can grow as an epiphyte or planted in the soil, and you'll see later on I'm planting them in both in the soil and attaching them to driftwood. So next up is the Anubius Nana Petite. Um, I'm wedging them in between the crevices of Dragonstone and because it's a shade loving plant um, it likes to be in some places that have less intense lighting and so putting them underneath the driftwood in between the crevices here is actually quite a, quite a good spot. And next I'm just mixing the Philippine Java Fern with the Trident Mini Java Fern. Uh, they're slightly different leaf shapes, but they look quite natural when you blend them together. Um, it is going to be the main focus of the scape when it grows in. It's positioned in the golden ratio and yeah, it's going to be the main focus that draws your eye. I also prefer to tie the moss to the wood instead of uh, just super gluing them. And that's because when you super glue, it leaves these white marks on the wood itself. And also the moss just doesn't get attached as well as if you tied it. Um, I know it doesn't look the greatest right now. You can see the threads, but once the moss uh, attaches to the driftwood by itself, uh, you give it a good trim and you can cut off the threads. And the last plant to be planted is the Eleucorus vivipara. Uh, it's a plant that's still not widely used in Australia, but basically it's like a super long hair grass that uh, has these umbrella side shoots when it's propagating. Um, it forms like this really nice draping curtain on the water surface when it's grown.
So a week later, the plants are slowly starting to grow in and the tank itself is sitting on a custom timber base. And the main reason why I made a custom timber base is I wanted some place where I could put my fertilizers, but also a place that is uh, able to mount and support the light stand. Uh, so the light stand is from Litty Aquaria. I really like it because it's not attached to the tank itself. It's freestanding and it just looks a lot cleaner. Uh, and one other thing that's also changed is the light itself. Previously, I had the ADA Soul RGB, but it's not dimmable, so I was worried that the light would be too strong, especially in the early stages of the scape. So I changed it to the Chihiros Vivid 2, and that's dimmable. It allows me to control the intensity and the time. In terms of fertilizers, I'll be trying this new range from Jack Aquatics. This one is the Complete Starter. Um, it is formulated for new tanks or tanks that don't need a lot of nutrients. Uh, it is an all-in-one micro and macro and it says uh, 5 mils per 100 liters 4 times a week. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try this one out and see how the plants grow. So far it's looking pretty good. Um, but if I decide to add more plants or more demanding plants, then uh, I'll probably switch this Jag Aquatics Complete Pro. Um, it is specifically for a higher plant mass or more demanding plants and definitely has a higher concentration of the nutrients. So yeah, it's definitely going to make the plants grow even faster. So that's going to do it for today's video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, I certainly did enjoy it and I'm actually quite happy with how everything's uh, grown and yeah, it's just a matter of time to see when everything fills in. Um, full disclaimer, the aquatic fertilizers were provided and sponsored by JAG, so thanks JAG. Um, and also very big thank you to Aquaplant Culture for supporting this channel and providing most of the plants for the scape. Uh, yeah, so sit back, relax, enjoy the b-roll and I'll see you in the next one.